stampers. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'd like to share another simple technique with you, how to make these great stamped fun foam embellishments that I've used all over this card. I don't know if you can see the width of them by looking at this card. Really, really simple technique. What you're going to need is some fun foam. For our purposes today, we're going to use some white fun foam, and this is a thinner fun foam. There also are those door hanger fun foam pieces that are a bit thicker. I like using these thin sheets. They're really easy to work with. You're also going to need a binder clip and a piece of chipboard. I find this the easiest way to keep the fun foam in place. I just go ahead and clip the fun foam to that chipboard so that it doesn't move around. You're also going to need some images. I've got some images stamps here from the Circle Circus stamp set. I really like how um, they give a great depth of image when we press them into the heated fun foam. So what you're going to do is take your heat tool and you're just going to heat up this fun foam and I want you to watch as the edge curls as we heat it up because once these edges start to cool and that fun foam heats up, it's ready for stamping. So let's heat it up. And again, if you move your heat tool around, you'll start to see a bit of curling going on on the fun foam. Hopefully you can see that edge starting to curl up. And that's indicating to me that this fun foam is ready for stamping. So we can turn off our heat tool and you want to just press your stamp nice and firmly into the fun foam. I like to give it a bit extra pressure than I normally use when I'm stamping. And then you just lift straight up and you've got this great looking impression. Hopefully you can see that in your fun foam. And all you need to do is cut this out to make it an embellishment. I'm gonna do one more so that you can see. We're gonna do this really small image. So again, heat up the foam, wait for it to curl. Once it starts curling, it's ready for stamping. There we go, and you're going to press. Now you may notice as I did that, that the edge of this stamped image started to lose some of its impression. And that's something that I learned pretty quickly when I was doing this technique. Once you go ahead and stamp one impression, you're going to want to go ahead and cut that impression out. You can use your craft and rubber scissors for that, but I found that what happens is if the image gets reheated, the impression comes out of the fun foam. So go ahead and cut your image out. You can cut right around in a circle to make this a nice image. I'm sure you could also cut some shapes out with your big shot and then go ahead and stamp those shapes, which would look really nice and then wouldn't have a hand cut edge. Once your embellishment is ready, you're just going to place it where you'd like it on your card. And I adhered these using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. That seems to work great for adhering them down. And that's the technique I have for you today, stamping with fun foam. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again in the craft room. Take care.